and go. Hey, this is Billy Hofacker. I am a strength and conditioning coach as well as a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. I have a great tip for you today. It's a simple tip, but it's really effective. When you're doing a workout, uh, in particular, let's say a bag workout, you're going to hit the heavy bag and you want to get a good solid workout out of it. This applies for any kind of workout, but it's always a good idea to have a plan. I recently had the opportunity to do a bag workout with uh, my friend and UFC fighter Chris Wade and his head coach Greg Di Pasquale, and he gets a lot of volume in on the bag by scheduling the workout, by planning it out. I did the workout with him, and they had it all mapped out. He did like 12 or 15 rounds. If you ever go to the gym, you have this great plan, but you don't have it written out, and you just kind of do some of it, and then maybe just kind of call, call it quits early, and you don't really get the full benefit of the workout. If you have something written out, you'd be less likely to do that. So, I some people are visual learners, so just real simple, what you would do is, if you have a whiteboard where you are, great. If not, you can use an index card, you can use a piece of paper, you can use a post, it doesn't really matter, as long as you have the plan, but you would simply write out the workout. So you might do round one, and it might be jabs. And again, this applies for any kind of workout. You could do round two, you can do, you can do just jabs and crosses, ones and twos, so let's say, ones and twos. And then round three, you might throw in some hooks. Round four, if you're doing kickboxing, you might want to throw in some kicks. You can do a variety of workouts. Maybe some rounds you fight in like a close, uh, close fighter, uh, more, uh, more close distance, do some elbows and knees. Or you do the opposite, you do more of range fighting, you do more uh, moving around on the outside. You mix it up. You can also mix up the tempos. Maybe some rounds you go real hard, some rounds you focus more on technique. So there's tons of options, and I'll list a few uh, with this video. But give that a shot. See if it helps you out. I think it will. Do me a favor. Give us some feedback. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, throw, some, throw a comment in there. And uh, we'll talk to you soon with some more tips.